I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, Bronze, it is Thursday. So many announcements. First of all, seniors that are working in Plato, remember that your deadline is coming up. And believe it or not, that deadline is next week, May 12th. Like, need you to get that stuff done. You should be working within Plato. If you're in Mr. Enrico's class and he has been out, so you need to email either Ms. Coleman or Mr. Harris. Um, both of them can help you if you need things unlocked, but we need some communication from you. So just make sure you're reaching out. You can also touch base with Ms. Wasson, um, who's in your classroom, and she will communicate that um, need to us as you need things open with in Plato. Get it done. Do not wait till the last minute. All right. Dual enrollment is coming to an end this week. Congratulations to our dual enrollment students. We have students who are graduating with their AA next week. Um, so with the end of the dual enrollment season brings a few announcements. For those of you that have dual enrollment at the end of your school day and those classes are no longer going to be meeting, you need an updated flex pass in order to get off campus. And if you're on campus, guess where you are to report? That's right, your dual enrollment class. If you are on this campus, you have to report to the class for which you are assigned, whether it's an off day or an on day, that is your assigned area. Teachers do not harbor fugitives. Make sure that those kids are reporting where they are assigned. That's all I have. Good morning, everyone. Just want to remind you, next Tuesday for sophomores, juniors, and seniors who do not have a score for graduation, this is your last chance to get that score. The best thing about the FAST test, if you're a junior and you're a senior, you do not know this, you get that score within 24 hours. I will let the teachers know within 24 hours if that score is there, um, and it goes on that data sheet. Sophomores, same thing. So you will know that information. Um, moving forward, AP students, pay attention to this. You'll be testing with some people that you don't necessarily recognize and know. You have to have your student ID to come in and take your test. Part of the script that they are reading is to check your ID to make sure that the testing materials match the person in the room. If you do not have your ID or a form of ID at all, you will not get your test. I can't reiterate that enough. You have to have some form of ID. Honestly, you should be wearing your ID at all times so that we know that you belong on our campus. But when you go over to IRSC, you're going to be with people and um, retired teachers, different teachers from district office that are going to administering your exams, and they don't necessarily know your face and name. So they have to match it to your test materials. Please bring that. Other than that, AP teachers, please make sure to check your email today. I'm going to send you just some final logistics of some information to remind your AP students. Have a great day. Good morning. So I can't believe it's up. It's prom season. It, this year's really gone by. So just a couple of weeks, we have prom next, not this Saturday, but next. And so we had the meeting yesterday. And so some things that came up Um Number one is just just beware to bring your IDs with you when you come. I mean, I know that we recognize most of you, but then some of your guests are going to need to be recognized. They're going to have to have an ID with them. So good habit to put it in your pocket or, or pocketbook or whatever have you and bring it with you. The other thing is uh, there is, we kind of have an address code for the prom. Um, so I think Miss Adams is going to send out some information regarding that. Just beware. That's a formal event. So, you know, the gentlemen, we'd like for you to wear, you know, collars and ties and nice slacks and so forth. And, and the ladies and, and one of you ladies can speak to this, but uh, usually it's dresses and things of that nature. So just be aware of that before you come. We're, you know, we're not going to let you in if you're not not dressed properly. So just be aware of that ahead of time. 
Good morning, freshmen. Um, if you have AP Human Geography, hopefully you heard what Ms. Hurst said about your ID. Find it so you can test that day. Um, I know a lot of that testing information you think doesn't apply to you, but that specifically does. Um, we also have testing next week. Tuesday is your um, ELA PM3. So the teachers now have the lists. Um, your ELA teacher today will be letting you know um, which room you will be testing in next Tuesday. All freshmen will come here that morning. So please note that if you get dropped off the high school or if you normally have first and second period over there, make sure you make plans next Tuesday. That is May 2nd to come here. Mm -hmm. um, you will be here through um, fourth period and then fifth and sixth will be like the rest, normal rest of the day. But um, please make sure you plan to come here that morning. Um, Ms. Shirley and I are working on um, a little reward for um, PM3 um, scores. Um, and so we'll get you the details soon. Um, those will come via your ELA teachers once we've finalized our plan. So just know that they're um, working on something to, to encourage you to give your best effort on that test so that our data is a true reflection of how much you've grown this year. Ms. Shirley. Yep. Yep. Looking forward to us announcing that. All right, students, just a continual reminder to make good choices. Do your best in your classes. Make sure that you're on your best behavior each and every day as we do have PBIS events coming up. And I want to make sure that you're all going to be top candidates to be able to go to that. So have a great day. Make good choices and go Bravins. One last thing. Sorry. <laughs> Um, Ms. Goggins reminded me that teachers, our list for PM3 has not gone out yet, but check the testing logistics page to see if you are testing or not, because that list is there. You will get the list of who will be in your room later today. Okay, I'm done now, Ms. Myers. <laughs> I just wanted to give a shout out to our seniors that have been participating in grad walks. Um, we have gotten so much positive feedback from that, not just um, from the parents and the community who love seeing the pictures, but those who are participating at the elementary school, as an impactful as this is on our seniors, you are having an impact on the students that you are going to see. So all of the littles that are lining the hallway that are clapping for you, high-fiving as you go across. Um, they are just as excited and motivated by seeing you come back to their school and they can see themselves in you. Yesterday, we had a large group go back to Seminole Elementary. And man, some of you had some pretty powerful speeches. I've seen some videos of that and just really encouraging. And it made me so proud of how you were pouring back into those kids that were listening to your advice and how to move forward and be great. It just makes me incredibly proud of you and how far that you have come to this journey. So all of that to be to say you need to finish strong. Hearing from some of the teachers, you know, senioritis is real. We know it's real, but you have just a few short weeks left before the end. Finish strong. Every day is full of choices that you can make to invest in yourself and this end. So we're saying that as we're coming up into this testing season, and we want you to be able to look back and be just as proud of the effort that you made these last few weeks. All right, make it a good one as together we move forward and be great and be Brahmins all day. All day.